an adiabatic vessel. This is what you mean to say. When two vessels are connected by a thin tube, so there'll be a tube through which gas can flow. And the tube is thin, so to make it visible, I'm I'm showing it a little bit thick. That one, okay. There's a tube. So now, now n one moles. <coughs> Three moles of diatomic gas. Dia, I'll write it, or diatomic. Another vessel contains five moles of monatomic gas. Okay, this much of information what we have. Uh, temperature. This is is telling T two four seventy Kelvin. We don't know this temperature. Now what will happen? Calculate the root mean square angular velocity of diatomic gas when the two vessels are connected by a thin tube of negligible volume. So there's a valve. I'm going to open the valve. Valve closed. Now the valve is opened. All of you diagram. Don't don't say sir. What is a valve? I, I think as a teacher I should not give further anything. Examples on valve. Water tap there, you rotate no valve, similar to that. Monatomic gas. So, what will be the final temperature? Let me call this is T4, uh, this is T3. We don't know whether it will change or not when two vessels are connected by thin tube or negligible volume. Here, diatomic gas molecules are there. This idea, this is a description of the problem. Huh? Three moles. Okay, let me. Show only few. Five moles of monatomic gas. I'll open it. Then, uh, what is given? He has given some information of, say, some <coughs> omega naught. With this, can we calculate temperature T one? Anybody wants to answer? RMS speed of molecule is what he has given. RMS speed, sir, is it about omega x, omega y, omega z? Then what is RMS speed of molecule will be? This is a molecule one. RMS speed of next molecule will be so some value. Huh? So this will be. It will have some y component of velocity, so y one, z one. You write it. Second molecule will have third molecule and so on. What is omega RMS should be equal to able to understand? No, this is what the meaning of that one. So don't think that omega RMS is about y about x. Each molecule will have angular velocity about y about z about x axis. We have we are not okay. Even x axis also will come. No? Hmm. Now that angular velocity, <coughs> effective angular velocity will be omega one, omega two. Like that. Now you have to take it. That is omega. That this omega RMS is what is omega naught. What he has mentioned, I think you you must able to understand now. Okay, how this root mean square angular velocity is related? So you come for the average translational kinetic energy for a diatomic gas molecule, three by two kT. Average rotational kinetic energy, how much it should be? Half kT, half kT will be kT, no? Five degrees of freedom, diatomic gas molecule. So kT will be this one. So what is my average translational kinetic energy mass of molecule? V R M S square by two. What do you mean by rotational kinetic energy? Moment of inertia. This is the meaning. So with this, what will happen? We can calculate the temperature. If they give root mean square angular velocity, 
omega rms only that i am writing omega not so i i think able to understand now so with this i'll get the temperature t1 fine next after this i have open tube so there'll be exchange of energy will occur then due to exchange of energy what conditions for the will arise let me finish off the numerical here only okay after this what to do now can we apply conservation of <coughs> intensity total intensity of system should remain same so ui should be equal to uf this is the initial this is a final so n1 f1 r t1 by 2 final temperature has to be same no anybody why final temperature should be same the gas will exchange energy and it will attain thermal equilibrium okay now you know t1 how to get the t1 is what from here the initial discussion what we made moment of inertia also given everything so we know moment of inertia i and also the omega not with that we'll get the temperature t1 that i'm going to substitute what is f1 monatomic gas 3 n1 number of moles is given substituting this we'll get the required answer Uh, will you do it i'll i'll go for so what is f1 f1 is 5 f2 is 3 n1 is 3 t1 is what you are going to calculate from here okay after getting this is asking now <coughs> calculate root mean square angular velocity of diatomic gas molecule when two vessels are connected so finally what will be the temperature of this finally it will be i the diatomic gas molecule which is present here will have root mean square angular velocity should be equal to kt so dividing these two also will get it but we don't know t1 t1 has to be calculated once you know t1 then t in terms of t1 i think it is needed huh? so this is the equation 1 2 and this is 3 divide these two we'll get expression for omega omega square by omega not square equal to t by t1 expression for t in terms of t1 <coughs> you can bring it from equation 2 can you work out Uh, that's the same thing. The piston spring one. What we have idea, no? The same idea is what you have to apply. Here I gave as a numerical. Uh, please do work out this one. Very important. It's, it came in mains exam. We discuss statically, or you can.